So previously we talked about Odyssey of the Dragon Lords, and uh, we we spoke for about ten to fifteen minutes about how much uh, we love oh, wow. uh, these adventures, and I'm happy to say that we finally got a physical copy. Yep. Uh, after all that, wait for us playing with the digital one. Us telling you all about it, we did finally at least get the digital, uh, the physical book in. Oh wait, we got so much more stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I uh, was a gold tier um, uh, backer at Kickstarter for this. Yeah. Uh, so I, we're just gonna show real fast, like what we got, what we yeah. got of it. Some fun stuff. We have the basically the DM's guide. You have the player's guide, and then we have the GM screen, and then some extra supplements here, including a map pack, which I'm. Very excited to get into. You guys make gorgeous products because I'm already blown away by the way this stuff looks. I'm going to open this DM screen and then put it away because if I leave the DM screen out too long, it's going to take up all the space and we won't be able to look at anything else. All right. That's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, the character designs, again, the archetypes for the classes were all unique and great. The maps and the actual plot was great. And I'm excited about all this. Look at that. Look at that nasty, nasty goodness. Mm. Er, it's so beautiful. Uh, That's pretty large. Is it me? Or is it, it seems really big for a GM screen. As someone who doesn't own a GM screen, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, this seems like it would... I think that would fill out a good amount. I think most of them are one, two, three. So okay. maybe it's just because of the way they divided up the third screen into two side ones. But I mean, I think either way works. But this is gorgeous. The inside has all that GM information that yeah. you need. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have your conditions, you have your info about the world, which again, even reading this, you aren't just necessarily an expert because you know you have everything else you have to memorize. You have a map of the world. So a lot of the info that you need is right here, which is great to have. Yeah. Uh, we will put this away again, or I'm gonna gawk at it the entire time. All right, before we look at the uh, the books, let's take a look more at these uh, maps. The maps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know I'm a fiend for maps. I'm gonna put stuff that is not technically important. Uh, so I think well, we should let's go through the small okay. ones first because this is their back. Right. So it's one sided. Yeah. Prince of different parts of the world. Okay. And I'm like I like that you can see the horizon on here. So like right there you can see a curved horizon on that one. So you're just seeing gorgeous views. Oh god, that new book smell. Mm. <laughs> oh, these are gorgeous. Okay. Great details of the world. And, and then, oh God, there are so many of these bigger maps coming up. So, we've got these guys right here. Wow, got, are they all islands? Interesting. Yeah, each of them is a separate island. Ooh, let's separate these. And, and as we, I remember having a ship and sailing was a big part of when we were reading yeah. it to before. So, as you can see, that's going to be a big part again. You're going to have to figure yeah. out where you're going. Well, you can't have an Odyssey without, <laughs> without a, a sea voyage. <laughs> Ooh, so, yep. So here is the mainlands and all of the... Oh, okay. There. And then the constellations. And I give you guys credit for making up your own constellations. I don't know if these are completely different from our own. They look very different from our own. But you probably either at least had an expert do that or you took enough artistic license that it doesn't matter. But uh, you can see very unique ones, like you have the Golden Heart up top, the Queen, the Chariot, the Twins, the Nymph, uh, the Bard, the Spear, the Dreamer. A lot of unique takes. And you can see shapes probably a little harder from here, but hopefully we'll get some close-ups and you'll be able to see at least enough of the details to understand why they chose some of these mm. things. Like the Bear, you can see, is a very large figure compared to some of the other ones, which is awesome. The queen, I think, is just a uh, a crown, sort of like a tiara almost. That's really gorgeous. I love that. Wow. All right. Uh, which city are we going to first? We got one, two, three. Oh, we got We got two versions of one city, and then we got two other ones, and then we have the giant map, and then we have another giant... What's with the maps, guys? I love this. <laughs> oh my god! I don't, what do you, what do you, what do you want to open? There's so, we've got eight options here. <laughs> All right, uh, let's start with, gosh, city of Astoria. All right. And oh, it's double sided. All right. And what's that one? Uh, that is uh, Etros. We'll look at that in a second. Just so I figure wow. we'll do okay. one at a time. So you got. 
So, so Istorio shows Sorry. you the shows you the city. And you see a there's a bolt. And then a vault. That's great. So if you wanted to do naval combat, you had all set up. And the material this made of actually feels like it could handle some, you know, yeah. roughness is, from players. Yeah, this won't tear easily. It's it's, it's um, laminated. This is good. Okay. Yeah, I would say this is not. This is hard. This obviously isn't like playable for characters. But but like, yeah. if you're having a chase scene or you're just exploring a city, you could put your characters out where they are and be able to run that, which is great. Um, less crowded of a city, but still really gorgeous. Yeah. This one is the city of Mitros, or Mitros, I don't know which way, but I'm going to say Mitros. Uh, very busy by comparison. This is a metropolis of some sort, or at least a very busy city. It gives me New York vibes? Is it just me? Like Yeah, yeah, Lower Manhattan. That's what I thought. Um... And on the back here, let's turn this, actually, let's look at it first so we know what we're talking about. What, <laughs> what is that? Uh, let's put it down real quick. Okay. It looks like it's a, a cavern. Uh, how about yeah, the entry? Uh, hmm. You have us stumped with some of these. <laughs> but, but the way it does look, it must be a cavern or something, or either that or this is clouds. Oh, well, maybe it's yeah, a cavern. But this is the sea. This is a water. Um, yeah, this is definitely so. water. I'm unsure if this is either rock or clouds, though. But either way, it's unique, and I am curious about a lot of the stuff. Yeah. I'm sure if we reread stuff, we would know. But either way, gorgeous. And again, the material, the fact that you guys did laminate this stuff so players could be a little rougher. Yeah. Maybe drinking. No. Uh, um. I, was, I was about to say that. <laughs> uh, so we have two maps of the city of Aresia, um, and one of them, Aresia? I don't know, Aresia. Um, this one is the laminated version, so I'm going to handle this one because I am a goof and don't trust myself. Ah, and on the back we will have another boat map, which we'll show you in a second. Oh, it is different. Okay. Because mine has a different uh, backing to it. Well, maybe. Hold nice. On. That one seems more like it would be like a collector's edition version, where this is very much the player version. Uh, but again, this is a not a huge city, but uh, pretty populated. You have a noble district, a market, gymnasium. I am putting this backwards. Oops. Uh, Temple of the Shield, which excites me if I'm remembering what the Temple of the Shield is correctly. Uh, but yeah, a uh, nice little town. So yep, th I, is this the same? Yes. Yep, same one. Okay. Uh, one is just player version. And that is the full... Jesus, I love that map. Um, wow. But then you have a second ship here, which also looks awesome. I will say, I think most pieces are one inch. So the only issue I would see with these is that these... Uh, squares are a little small, so these could be going off of maybe centimeter or something. I don't know, but I know most bases, or yeah. at least uh, from big name ones like Heroes Forge and stuff, usually are a one inch piece, like around, for a uh, diameter, circumference. Right. I'm curious why they have two maps of Aresia. Is it, um, was it an accident, or was it because they, it's, uh, it's, I have to look at the book again to see yeah. if, it's, if it's popular. Maybe that's why they need two. I, I do think that this is, again, there's a player one, and then there's one, I think, because of the map on the other side, I think that's almost like one that you would keep. Possibly. Maybe, just to, like, have... So if this gets screwed up, you have a backup? I don't know. Um, we got... Oh! Is this another Mitros? So maybe there are two maps of Easton. Was there... Did we do Astoria? Yeah, we did Astoria. Okay, so... Oh, so maybe... Okay, so one time's an accident. Oh, this is done on purpose. City of Mitros. So there are two of each. So Mitros again, which is... It seems to be there are clean versions that are uh, regular paper, kind of just like a collector's version that yeah. like you could like hang on a wall or a poster. And honestly, the quality of some of these, I definitely would. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This um, is... And this is Historia, which was the other one we did too. Yeah. So this basically is a two-sided option that is, again, not the laminated one to play on, but still good to look at. Maybe just a private map for the... Um, for the GM to have, where the other one is sort of like players go crazy. Yeah. Y'all are killing it with these maps. And then we got a couple of these smaller guys. Okay. Calypsis, which I think is one of the ones you just looked at too. Okay. The lands of. Uh... It's the back. Oh, yeah. So that's the uh, Thalia, the uh, full land. Gorgeous. So laminated version again. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, the apocalypse. Yeah. There was another map of it, but I think this is a smaller version. 
Yeah, I think this one. I don't think the other one was laminated. I, think so, I don't think so either. And then this one. Ooh. Doesn't have a name on it. I don't think this is a city we've already explored. What is this? That one? map we've seen. But not that. Yeah. So this one is unique. From what we've seen, at least. It's a maze. No, I think it's no? a city. It's a city? Huh. It's a city at nighttime. So one of the later missions, I'd have to double check the book, but if I remember the, the later missions correctly, um, it gets a little hairy with some uh, larger yeah. creatures. So That hole. I just love how that's, that looks... I don't know. It's something about that it looks it looks well done. I think this is one of the end game. Maybe not the map you play on, but one of the ones that you look at and you're like, "Hi, uh, I might be fighting something this big." Hmm. <laughs> but uh, gorgeous, guys! I wish uh, I love that it's laminated, but the camera does not. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying my best to show it. Sorry, guys, but God, gorgeous! And I think that was the other one that we saw earlier. All right. Try to be really careful. Oh, the ones that aren't. <laughs> All right, so that map we've seen already. Yeah, I think we've seen both of these. Yeah, already. you're right. Yep. So, so we're getting two of each. We're getting laminated versions and then uh, nicer material, uh, basically, I think, visual versus yeah. practical. Okay. Which is awesome. That's very interesting. All right, so now for the books themselves. Yes. I will uh, take that. You can look at the big boy. But uh, the player's guide, which... From well, my last week, we talked about how beautiful the art is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, we talked about how beautiful the art was before, and it's it's just even more breathtaking seeing it in paper yeah, than on a PDF. This is, this is really done. I'm so happy I backed this. This is great. Here they had very unique character, um, character sheets, uh, basically almost like a bunch of pieces of parchment with different... Uh, ways you could write out the information and not love that. Anytime you want to take a unique spin, I am annoyingly like I need the practical stuff, but I appreciate the work you guys do here. Uh, yeah, I love these. Like I can't. I'm so happy that we got yeah. these. Worth every penny. Yeah, definitely. We'll put a link in the description of where you could buy these books. I believe now you could order pre-order them now. What well, is this website? Um, yeah, we'll put a description below. Um, if you could grab a copy, I recommend you do so. This is this is gorgeous. And if you're watching our video from before, what did, what made you like this as well? Because uh, I'm assuming at least some of you have at least backed this or at least gotten interested. Was it the character options for like classes? Did you just enjoy the races? What the story? The story itself is great. I loved reading that. What what interested you in this? Tell us below, because I would love to talk to you guys about some of this crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, we're going to be do some reading. So yes. take care. <laughs> Let us know what you think below and have a great day. See ya.